April, thank you. After the Saints lost to the Vikings in the playoffs, we told you about the generosity Minnesota fans showed to Thomas Morstead, who suffered a rib injury early in the game, continued to play, even came back out on the field for the obligatory PAT to finish the game. One Vikings fan made a post urging others to contribute to Morstead's charity. What you give will grow, and it took off. More than $220,000 were donated. The charity benefits child life programs in hospitals, but Morstead decided to donate the money to Minneapolis hospitals. He's there today in Minneapolis. Minneapolis to present the check amid the Super Bowl festivities and joins us now by phone. And Thomas, it's still hard to believe one post led to so many donations because of your toughness and sportsmanship. Are you still blown away? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just been remarkable to see this happen and kind of take place. And, uh, you know, uh, just so you guys know, we, we $220,000 just raised, but they ended up capping that and uh, continuing the fundraiser for Louisiana. We've already raised $120,000 down for Louisiana hospitals, so it's been great. That is amazing. Tell us a little bit more about your foundation, what you give will grow. Why did you decide to focus on children in hospitals? Well, there's a big need, and um, you know, a friend of mine um, had a nasty cancer that he passed away from, and he would always talk about the child life department and how impactful they were and how underfunded they were and so it's kind of given me a you know kind of a personal um you know need and want to help out and kind of help the area that i live in and so it's just something i wanted to do and we thank you so much i know you have a jam-packed uh, day ahead Obviously, you'd rather be playing in the Super Bowl, but still such an honor to be in Minneapolis today. You're going to a hospital visit. You're, you have the check presentation. You're going to go visit a school. Um, lots of things lined up. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, the, the, the fourth grade class from Detroit Lakes, meeting them. They, they kind of did a video online showing that they'd raised some money and kind of were moved and inspired by what happened. And um, just to meet those kids, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, they're going to be coming to the NFL experience today, so I'm excited about that. I did see that video. It was precious. And we keep forgetting to ask uh, because we're so excited about all the money that you have raised. But how is your – you had that rib injury. How are you feeling? Uh, it's getting better slowly. Um, I was told it'll take about six weeks to get back to normal, so okay. I'm halfway there. Um, but it's still, you know, it's still lingering for sure. Um, but, you know, we're not playing, so it's, it's uh, not something I'm having to play through anymore, which is, which is good. We wish you a speedy recovery. Real quick, Patriots versus the Eagles, do you have a prediction? Uh, I just can't pick against the Patriots, but, you know, who knows? It seems like every Super Bowl they play in is super close, and so I'm sure it'll be a great game. All right, Thomas, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the day. Dave?